1st, the deadline is tomorrow for teachers and staff in New York City schools to get the vaccine or get shut out. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Bookman. And I'm Joe Torres. Schools Chancellor Misha Porter insists there are enough substitute teachers to replace the teachers who are shut out. At this time, the city reports 93% of public school teachers will be allowed back into their classes. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang joins us tonight from the Upper West Side. Lucy? Well, Sandra and Joe come tomorrow morning, Monday morning, as more than a million public school students go back to the classroom, they will find some teachers missing. We're told about 7% of teachers have refused to get vaccinated, which means no shot, no work. It's important as an educator that myself and other adults who are working with our students, some of whom might be unvaccinated, so that we are vaccinated in order to try to protect them. It breaks my heart to leave them, and, and especially I don't know who's going to replace me. The debate is academic at this point. By Monday morning, the mandate kicks in. All New York City public school teachers and staff must be vaccinated or stay home. So far, the courts have agreed, and so have more than 93% of the teachers. But there are educators like Stephanie Edmonds who refuse. She cites her Jewish faith. Um, I believe that this goes against my faith. It's a betrayal of my faith in God. And, you know, for that reason, I've decided not to. This teacher has severe, potentially fatal allergies and fears she might have a severe reaction to the vaccine. So I hope you can understand how mind boggling this is for me to be forced to either choose my career and possibly lose my life. The city says they are prepared to fill in the gap with substitute teachers who are vaxxed and ready to go. We do not expect to have a shortage on Monday. We expect to be ready, and we've been working very closely with our union partners to ensure that we're ready. So the city is hoping the 7% number will go down this weekend, that more teachers will roll up their sleeves. We shall see come Monday morning.